Hi, I'm Sina Norasina. Welcome back to Magical Vacation. This is episode 13 right now, so let's start. All right, uh, before I start, first things first, I wasn't recording. I just realized it a moment ago. So the only the only thing that happened is that I started, you know, where I left inside the inn. I went out and talked to this guy, and he and they gave me, you know, the the light bell and then wait it wasn't you it was you right no not you where is the when did he disappear are you are you him oh yeah, yeah it was this one is they all look the same <laughs> okay so i talked to him and you know he thanked me and then gave me the light bell and then gave me the instructions on how to uh, un uncover the you know the person or the star i have to talk to it's it says in here you have to get rid of all the stars before you will be able to see the black current star the black current sorry stars are the souls of people who have died heroes and saints are reborn into stars in arco Stars that have been just reborn are in a bit of a day, so if you talk to them gently, say something along the lines of, you are in a new realm now. You don't even have to say it if you feel it strong and in your, enough in your heart. If you do, the stars will surely realize where it must go and ascend. In summary, make sure you talk to each and every star. So yeah. Uh, after that... I use. Uh, I went to the pyramids. Oh wait, <laughs> wrong place. Here we go. Because thanks to my victory, I discovered there was something else I didn't check out. So if you continue walking down. Oh, also my levels. Uh, are a little different because you know I've been playing a little bit so yeah this is a door who knew if you go to this side you find two chests on the first chest was a pair of shoes I gave to blueberry the bear boots increase her speed by a lot and on the other chest there was just some bombs now on this side is this guy who sells exclusively empty parts so yeah, thank you, Malictor. I was able to buy the... Which was the Black Shell. Yeah, yeah, the Black Shell. And thanks to that, I changed the MD parts of my... Of my robots. Well, actually, it's Magical Doll, right? Of my doll. And now it has better stats. Just look at all of that HP and MP. It's pretty great. And he also offers me this, but he's asking too much. I mean, if I had the money, sure I would, but I don't. We we'll barely have 10% of that. All right, now that that is out of the way, I went ahead and uncovered these two areas, which is the outside of Arco, which is where we're going next, and then the Abyssal Corridor, which is, you know, where uh, Ganache and Candy went to. But first I need the dark veil, so let's go here. We have the light veil now. It's a good thing I realized what was going on. Yeah, let's just uh, make this a snappy. Thank you. Oh, thanks to... Uh, thanks to that, the worm, like, hide it, uh, ha hit again. Okay, I can evade it, good. Yeah, well, new worms will be, like, so annoying. Also, I got paralyzed, so I won't be able to kill them this turn. Damn it. There we go. Okay, just be careful around those holes. Oh, what a beautiful place! Oh no. 
You cannot deceive my eyes. You might not be reborn yet, but return where your friends wait. Oh? Oh yeah, it's because the magic doll is not a... Uh. Okay, let's... Uh, go to the boss and grab another party member, I guess. Okay, um... Party... Uh, I'm gonna grab Chocolate since, you know, his level is the closest, the highest one I have right now. Or, let me check here, Shaw. Cassis is another one. Yeah, none of you are... So... He's... Okay, he's still with me, so... I guess he just went back to the magic boss. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do anything else, I need to take out these stickers from Sardine. Yeah, because I need to give those to Chocolates. I just need 15. I... Oh, I have 19. All right, well, I guess I can give you back three of them. There we go. Cider is back. Let's rest. All right, now. Yeah, it seems like the number 13 is really unlucky because this is the second time I've been recording on a 30th episode and something bad has happened. Oh yeah, you have no equipment too. Oh, did you also ha you already have some stickers, so that makes my my job easier. Also, if I have no equipment, where are you putting the stickers? Also, I didn't know I could just click on this, uh, on any of my stats, and it will take me into the, that screen. Let's give you more speed, I guess. There we go. I mean, I must have, like, yeah, a good amount of equipment, so I don't really have to worry about... Hmm, the plate mail gives you more attack and more defense in exchange for a little speed. Hmm, bear boots... I think mecha boots are better. Also, your MP recovery sucks. Yeah, I guess I, I'm gonna have to go for the skull clip. Alright. Well, there you go, chocolates. Welcome back. Okay, just be careful with those stupid wormholes. Yeah, now Chocolate is... Yeah, she's one of the slowest. Uh, yeah, I cannot use like a lot of magic with him because he, he has poor MP and not much of an MP recovery. So I have a question, Malictory. Where does my uh, 
like what's uh, what's the stat that is uh, used for when you use magic attacks physical attacks yeah we have a strength but magic attacks are based on what spirit i thought that was magic defense or are they based on my mp or what Uh, um, I don't understand. I thought that was because the MD was. Uh, and I'm not talking to you, I'm trying to talk to the star. What happened to me? Where is this? Could it be? Did I turn into a star? Yes. I can see, a new age is coming, I have become a star that will nurture countless lives, I now belong to the sky, thank you for guiding me, I'll be ascending now. So I shouldn't talk to... Are we back to full? No, we have to really go back to the boss, so I have to avoid those stupid pots. I wasn't aware of that. So can I keep my my magic though? Because if I can, I'll, I'll say goodbye to chocolate. Let's see. I'll just try to not get in the way of those bots, if I can. I make no such promises. Also, I need to change the order on my party. Okay, let's see. Yeah, much better. So why is he not here right now? What happened? Ugh, whatever. Yeah, just ignore them. And try to talk to the stars. That is just awakening from the dream of life. It's similar to when you finish reading a novel or finish drawing a picture. You complete your current purpose in life and return to your true self, one blessed with infinite freedom. With that, I must depart. Okay. Okay, just I'm going. Uh, I'm just looking for stars. Jeez, they just make hard to move around. Aha! Do I look like a star? Yes. You look like a star to me too. But I know you're not a star yet. Bye bye. See you. Huh? Did the game? Oh, I thought the game uh, like got soft locked. But no, I think the pods uh, leave when you talk to all the stars. So that's good to know. Also, another aqua spirit, Rainy. Hello, I'm the water spirit, Rainy. How do I say this? Like, I have you ever felt like asking for ten aqua coins? If it, if I were feeling like that at this moment, would you mind giving me some? Sure, he would go. Uh. Thanks, I hope we get along. Well, no, I'm okay. Sure, let's go. Alright, alright, so I now understand how this uh, dungeon works. 
It's not as bad as I first thought. Bye! We just need to avoid all of these guys and talk to the stars. Just a few days ago, I was in the Fire Realm. I was sick in bed and many of my disciples were crowding around me. I thought about being reborn in my realm but instead ch uh, chose to be reborn as a star. That's because if I could use magic then I could go back to my realm anytime I wanted to. I could take out my previous form and see my disciples whatever I wanted. But right now my job is to create a new world as I imagine it. I must go. Farewell. Bye. Okay. Just looking for stars. Stars, don't mind me. I am just your uh, typical nemesis type tyrant looking for stars. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Which, funnily enough, I never play like Resident Evil 3. Uh, I do know it's a great game. <laughs> Because I, I watched videos and yeah, I was too young to play it when it came out, uh, I got scared easily. Hello, you aren't dead yet. I need to go now, my friends are waiting for me in the sky, alright. Oh, okay, good, good. Oh, a brownie. Feel free to kick the, pe uh, the peculiar thing, uh-huh. Is this the peculiar thing? No, right? No. Oh! Uh, okay. Uh, I got scared. <laughs> it caught me by surprise. <laughs> Hopefully the, the brownie is not uh, an enigma in disguise. And what I did uh, didn't just screw me. Hopefully. So yeah, uh, I'm not actually very fond of playing horror games, but I do like the stories, I read a, a lot about them. For example Resident Evil, Silent Hill, given Resident Evil has become more action oriented as time goes by, except for the remakes, but even those are not like, you know, full, full on survival horror. Oh, it's another floor, I guess. Oh, I turn into a star now, haven't I? I thought I wouldn't be reborn as a star just yet. At any rate, I need to ascend into the sky. Goodbye. Okay, just be careful. I become a star. I had heard from my teacher that my next rebirth will be a star, but I didn't know what uh, I feel about losing my human body. As it turns out, it's quite nice as a star. I feel great. That's nice. Also, oh, another spirit. You can barely see it. Akachi. Hello, I'm the sound spirit coming. Won't you give me four box coins? Sure, here you go, buddy. Thanks. Also, that enemy that is, you know, on top of. Another thing, it reminds me of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it's called Soul Hunter, Soul as in Souls, as in Dark Souls, and Hunter, you know, it hunts for souls. It's one of those monsters that it's on the classic Yu-Gi-Oh games, but you barely get to see any of it, because it wasn't featured in the anime. Only the monsters that were featured in the anime get, you know, the spotlight, especially nowadays. Alright. 
Well, I cannot go up there. Let's continue on this side. Looking for another star. Here you are. I'm a star. Bravo. I was small. I never uh, noticed. People thought I was undesirable as a fly. But even I am able to turn into a star. Oh, that's beautiful. Like, even a fly can turn into a star. They were supposed to be like heroes and saints. So that fly must have been like super fly or something. Come on, move. This is... I see. I turn into a star, therefore I must ascend into the heavens. Well then, farewell. Okay. It's nice that everyone uh, just accepts their fate as a star. I wish I could be a star after I die. Okay, let's go up. It, it would be a bad idea to go into the middle of that. Also, doesn't... Oh, okay, here's a star. Our lives are infinite, but we are a single time. I always thought that was strange, but now, but now I finally understand. I'm simultaneously expressing an infinitude of lives. I hadn't realized that until now. Oh, that's all of them. Well, I can kick this thing. Ugh. Just looks kind of gross. Super afro! <laughs> Alright, let's put on a super afro and see what's that up about. Alright, it gives me more attack and more defense, but you know, lowers my other stats. Oh, yes, please, thank you. Nice! Mm, I'm liking this dungeon so far, like, yeah, there are random encounters, but for some reason I am not as annoyed. I think it's because I'm taking things slowly, because I have to. Okay, there doesn't seem to be... Did I come from here? Yeah, I did, right? Yeah, I remember this area because I, I didn't found all the stars. Oh, I see the other one. I have to go up here. Just careful. Oh. <sighs> Good morning. I need to go now. Goodbye. Oh, that's all of them. Good. Yeah, I was confused. Like, I why is there only one star on that room? But no, there wasn't. It was There was another one. Ah. Also, I think Arancia and Blueberry ran out of MP and that's why they are not attacking. Oh, they are attacking, so what gets? Oh, just Blueberry then. No? Blueberry still has MP. I need to check on that. Well, first let's say because I don't want any more soft locks. So far we're doing pretty good. Aside from the fact that, you know, I wasn't recording for the first 10 minutes or so. Alright, you need HP, you too. Also, Arancia has a lot of HP. I only have 3 red worms, really? What happened to my worms? Did I drop them? Arancia is the one that needed that the most. Also the magic box. There we go. Mm, I see a chest in there, but how do I reach it? I think that's another room, right? Yeah, must be.
Okay, let's just see. Okay, we already went there. Is there something up here? No, it looks like it, but no, it's just the the background. Which, by the way, this background is great. Well, I guess we enter now through the uh, plant. We're plant door. And magic level up. Kick. Ugh. I've been reborn many times in different realms and suddenly I've been reborn into a star. I thought that people were lying when those what they said that those would die turn into stars, but I guess they were really telling the truth after all. You know, uh, uh, thinking about it, this keeps uh, magical star signs ending a whole new meaning for me. I'm gonna spoil it for you. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, skip a minute right about now. Okay, so in magical star sign, Miss Madeline, uh, the, your teacher, which is still alive, like I think 800 in years into the future, uh, dies at the end of the game. You are supposed to be looking for her, but by the time you reach her, she, she has been turned into a gummy by the final boss to be consumed. And the last thing she says to you is that she hopes to see you in another life and another galaxy. And yeah, I think that this is what she meant. I think she has been reborn as a star, which is quite beautiful, to be honest. And... Yeah, I'm actually tearing up a little because uh, that that ending was a downer for me when I was younger. But yeah, uh, I'm so glad I I found out about this. Let's continue. So yeah, let's move on. Just be careful with those guys. <laughs> I almost walked into that. Besides me, there are still eight stars left in this cave. I will be the last one to ascend to the heavens. That's good to know. That's good to know. We need to look for eight. Just walk really carefully. I'm a magician of the water realm. When I was alive, the water realm was smack in the middle of a fierce war. I trained myself until I hit my limit and I had obtained enough power to rewrite the entire universe. In the end, I lost all I lost my children in the war and despair. I wanted to obliterate the universe. At that point, my teacher did not try to stop me but instead told me the universe is born from the magic of, of those who inhabit it. Inhabit it. The universe is always being rewritten, re 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 sorry. When you try to destroy the universe, you will only destroy yourself. But I didn't listen to him and cast my ultimate spell, and now here I am, the universe was not destroyed, I now understand, the universe is eternal. Alright, that's uh, one, let's count to eight. Two, three, huh? where am I, is it like I'm in the night sky? I guess I'll try, I'll try going a bit higher. Oof. No! Oh, you... I wonder if I find all the stars, will I get that party member back, or... How does that work? Well, that's two, this is three. Do you believe that stars are also alive? Yes. You do understand. Oh! You cannot even pass right by them. Uh, okay, I see the other star, but how do I get up there? Okay, like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run away from this stupid battle. Whoa, this is a change of pace. Bye! But they don't 
give me back my party members. All right, let's go back to the Great Rock. Okay, that's the, the fourth star, right? I was doing so well. And then suddenly I wasn't. Okay, Arancia and Sardine. Well, at least I can rest. I speed up a little for that. Alright, let's go back to Arco. No way, not run. Attack. No, not run. Attack. Oh, come on. You're running? Okay, at least I managed to kill them before. You know, I ran away. Okay, at least, you know, the areas I've been, I've been on are cleared. Uh, okay, I remember that. So now we go here. Wait, what happened if I go up? It's, okay, there's nothing in here. And I cannot hit this thing from the back. I have to go in front. Oh, I thought that was an entrance, that red thing, but no, it's just part of the background. This place can be confusing, but still, it's really beautiful. And again, may I take my time to remind you, this is a Game Boy Advance game. Okay, I remember this area, it's when I have to go back for... ...to find the other star, okay, I'm on the right track. Yeah, now I have to keep this. Okay, another star is in here. It's the last one, right? Yeah. Okay, beside me, so we need another four stars. Oh, a spirit. But yeah, I'd rather not risk it now. I don't want to go back. So, another question, my victory. <laughs> Sorry for asking so many questions. Uh, is there a way to get back your party members without having to, you know, go back to the boss? Like, is there an NPC I can talk to or something? Oh, I ran because uh, I had uh, Pretty Boy set to running. Whoops. Also, Arancia received a lot of damage from that attack, Jesus. Okay, no, I'm going around this. Can I? No! Yeah, because I wanted to... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to do this without the, the robots. I'm just tired of having to go back and forth. Already been here. Okay, there should be more stars in here. Just be careful with those assholes. 
Okay, that's another one. Just come to me. Where is this? Is this where the stars are born? Yes. I see. I turn into a star. I must go then. That's one. Okay. That gets rid of, uh, rid of all of them. Earplugs. Now, the good thing is that the robot doesn't gain levels. It just copies, you know, mine. What did we got? Oh, the earplugs. Right, right. Uh, I guess they go in my head. Uh, or maybe they are... Okay, here they are. Where is to get a good a good night rest? Yeah, I actually wear earplugs when I go to bed. Sometimes, you know, my left uh, ear hurts a little for having them put on, you know, the whole night. But uh, after a few, you know, a few minutes of being uh, of taking them off, it goes away. So. They just provide a lot of... Yeah, sure, let's give it to Blueberry. Uh, this is a dead end. No, not, not running. No running here, Cider. Don't be a coward. Yeah! Alright, my magic went up. Well, there is no other way in here, is it? It's a little confusing sometimes. It's okay even if I don't have the robot slash magic doll <clears throat> because also Aransi is almost dead. Uh because yeah most enemies in here are resistant to electricity, so You were trying to kill Arancia, bastard. Wait, weren't there like more pots in here? Do I got all the stars? I don't think so, do I? Oh, I guess I already cleared this area. Oh, also these enemies, they were light attribute. That's very weird. Don't think I wasn't paying attention when I was trying to escape. Yeah, that's, that's a light spirit. Also, they are super bulky, Jesus! Uh, oh, I need to run. Well, let's try to continue the battle. Maybe I should try and dispel that spirit, I don't know. Ow! I think they are asleep. So I should take this turn to, you know, treat my injuries. Cure everyone. 
Do I have... I have a Shadow Bomb. Let's try it on that one. Oh yeah, Pretty Boy is dead, so let's revive him. And then use a Red Frog on him. Ah, nice! Also, for some reason, that didn't wake it up, so that's nice. Let's see if we can kill it. And use a Shadow Bone on that one. And a, no, a red one, no. A red frog on you. And another one on you. Okay, that's one. Okay, he's away, but at least we got it now. These guys are no chumps, let me tell you that. They are very fast. That's a lot of money, but no thank you. If I ever see one of those again, I'll just run. Also, this makes this cave not a very good place to try and level up, for now at least. Okay, is there another exit in here that I'm not seeing, or maybe I, I need to go some other way? Okay, this, that's where the spirit is. There's three stars left. No, I cannot go up there. And this side doesn't have anything. Alright, let's go on this side. Maybe there is something I forgot or I didn't saw. Yeah, I have been here before. I came from here. So let's go down then. Maybe there is another door in here. No. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back for... I'm gonna uh, pause the... Uh, actually, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go back for the magic doll. And once I get it and I'm on the entrance of the cave again, I'll be right back to you. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I just noticed on my way to the cave where the, I found this spirit, so I better show it to you. You found a furry. I'm the beast spirit furry. I have a request for you. I like dirty on stone tails. Sorry, I don't have that many. Uh, but yeah, now back to the cape. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, maybe there is another route I'm not seeing. Like maybe in here. Wait, have I been here? Yeah, I think so, right? No, I went up here. Actually, I think I've been on both sides. When I first entered the cave, I went through the first door, and then when I came back, I went to the second door. Let's go into the first again. Maybe we can find something we missed. We're still missing three stars.
Okay, very good. Nothing new here. Also, we must be like on the lookout for those things that I can kick to open new doors. Because you can barely see them. Oh, I thought that the blue thing was resistant to electricity, that's why I changed my target. Oh, it's resistant to uh, beauty. Right, right, right. Okay, nothing down here. Let's keep going up. Alright, yeah, this, this is where I talked to the guy and he told me to kick the thing. I, yeah, I've been here before, so there must be something else. Oh, this looks like an it looked like an entrance again, but it's just the red thing. Maybe there is something up. seem to be anything up here aside from you know this thing that's where I came from okay let's continue I know I'm missing something because there is a room that is still yeah you can see that treasure chest and that thing so I know I'm missing something this place is just sort of confusing because everything is semi-transparent Wow, what happened to Blueberry? Okay. She just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe there is... Okay, I see a star in there. There has to be a way to get in there. The question is how? Just look at all of those things. Okay, we're back in here. Let's not touch those assholes. This is the last star, we already talked to it. Do I go up? Mm, there doesn't appear to be anything up there. Down here is just one of the spirits, but I'm not doing that. I know I'm doing something wrong, also all the enemies in here are resistant to electricity. Is this normal or is it because I choose electricity as my element? If I have chosen fire, will the enemies in here be resistant to fire? I'm missing something, I know it, but I don't know what it is. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that again. I was about to, but no.
I'm just looking maybe there is a secret entrance This place is... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's you! <laughs> I, I did promise I was gonna escape, so... I'm gonna keep good on that Yeah, especially after that. There must be something. I already went here, right? That's where I come from. So I went down here. Yeah, this this thing in here looks like a hallway, but no, it's just part of the background. Okay, let's pick this. Continue downward, already been here. Is that the only thing that was in here? Really? And now I have to reorganize my patterns again. Wait, I did something wrong. I wasn't using flasher, I was using lightning. a dead end I guess I already checked this area yet yeah, there was nothing I'm gonna try and face them But instead I'm gonna use those parking and then thunder spark Oh wow, they have that, ma that much HP, that's over at 500, they must have uh, like 600 and something. Yeah, this should get rid of, of them. Jesus. Yeah, they, they are a good source of experience, I guess. But they also leave me all drained. And I don't have too many worms to use. Thank you. 
those are very annoying that's the last star no need to talk to it right now let's go back through here Like, you will think there will be a gap connecting that to there, but no. So if the entrance is not back there, and it's not up here... No, wait. Wrong combo. that way maybe there is another way to enter from here wait what is this oh this is what I what how Were you in there when I got out of here? I guess you were, but I didn't see you because my party members were covering you. Again, this looks like an entrance, but that's not an entrance. Okay, we are uh, almost an hour in, 59 minutes, and uh, no exit. I know where I must go, but I cannot find a way to enter. I guess I'll go back, and if I don't end up finding anything I might as well look out up at the guy to see what it says maybe I'm like there there's another plan I must kick but I can't see it because you know this whole place is all the same I mean that's a possibility Another possibility is that there's a secret entrance that maybe an NPC referred to but I was either not paying attention or didn't talk to him to it. This is the start of the cave, right? Yeah. This is where the other entrance was. Well, we might as well try this one.
Why are you in here? Oh! Okay, yeah, so I was right. Good thing I can go around this. So now I'm missing three stars. That's one. I wonder if they are people who see that the stars light all the fires of life. As I ponder this, I must leave. Oh, and that's all the pots in here. Okay, good. Radiant sticker, alright, to protect against light. So I'm guessing the boss in here is gonna be light attributes. I'm not changing my stickers, I'm just wondering. Alright, good, let's continue. Just walking carefully. This is the room I was looking for. Oh, a potty pee. I still need to deliver those. Huh? You're a star? Yes. You come to the abyssal realm without dying? I didn't know that you could do that. Did you mean to die but wasn't able to? Even as a star, I must continue the train, so farewell. So I'm guessing when the other star said there were three missing, I guess he meant to say including himself, so I guess that's all of them. Okay, now we continue. Okay, yeah. This is... So yeah, I was just missing one of those uh, plants. Well, at least we didn't lose that much time. That much. We still miss time, but... Wait, why are you using lightning? You should be using flasher. Alright, yeah, now the chest is open. And we found another potty pee. Uh, the potty will be so surprised when we are back with, you know, a bunch of those things. To revive his friends. Tell me this is the last one. The last star left in this cave is me. Well then, I must ascend to heaven. Oh. Huh? That's a lot of those stupid things. And Arancia is dying. There we go. Uh, now I must recover my MP. And those were all my worms. Well, these the good ones.
All right, I, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh wait, first let's save. I don't want another soft lock. And if the game soft locks uh, before a boss, that will be very tragic. Oh, there is light in darkness and there is darkness in light. Enigmas are darkness, you are the light. Light and darkness shall become one in the end. Receive the dark veil. Oh, so no boss battle? Just receive the team. Well, let's go to Arco, I guess. Also, I guess I was right when I said that. Uh, it was... I was very unlucky in this episode. Oh yeah, now I can... Enter? Well, I guess I'm gonna finish the episode in here. I'm level 60. I should be good enough for the final boss, right? <laughs> but I don't know, I guess I'll find out uh, more about that tomorrow. Also, I had a lot of... I have a lot of money. Not enough to buy the other magic doll, but... That's a lot of money. We just made a hundred thousand... Uh, coins. By just being lost in that cave and fighting random battles. So yeah. Anyways, enjoyed the video? Leave a like, have something to say? Comment down below. One more? Please subscribe. Is this video ending? You can bet it is. So I thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.